Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the new Masters of the Universe, Battle Cat. Alright, so on the back we have the instructions on how to change Cringer into Battle Cat. We've also got... The, we've got He-Man, Tila, Man-at-Arms with the mustache, Skeletor, Evil Lynn, Beast Man, Battle Cat, Prince Adam, Sky Sled. So, <clears throat> I don't have any of these figures yet other than Battle Cat. Uh, one of the Walmart, both Walmarts uh, were pretty much sold out uh, near me. Uh, they had Battle Cat. One of them had just Battle Cat. The other one had Battle Cat, Skeletor, and He-Man. Uh, I didn't really see a point in getting Skeletor or He-Man since I just purchased the vintage collection He-Man and Skeletor, uh, what was it, like a year or two ago? Uh, so I don't really see a point in getting these new ones. Um, except maybe if I want to, if I want the battle axe, I might get He-Man. Um, but other than that, I don't really need to pick up the entire set of these. I do want to get Tila, Man at Arms, uh, Evil Lynn, and Beast Man though, and I may get Prince Adam in the Sky Slip. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this back around. First, as you can see there, there's He-Man and Battle Cat attacking Skeletor. And there's the vintage He-Man next to Battle Cat. Um, modern posing, retro play. So let's go ahead and move He-Man out of the way. We'll bring him back in in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take Battle Cat out of the box and check him out. Now, as a kid, I was never able to get uh, Battle Cat. Um, Never had Battle Cat, never had uh, Panthor either. Um, I had almost all, the entire Masters of the Universe collection, except for uh, Battle Cat, Panthor, uh, Snake Mountain, and Castle Grayskull. My older brother, on the other hand, had two Castle Grayskulls. We lived in different houses growing up. Uh, he had one at my dad's and then one... And my grandparents, he lived with my grandparents. Uh, I lived with my mom. And so anytime I went over to my dad's or my grandparents, I would play with his castle, Grayskull, and his Snake Mountain. Because he did have them. Um, some friends of mine had uh, Panthor and Battle Cat, respectively. Uh, and so I got to play with them that way. But here is the new Battle Cat. Let me go ahead and tip this down a little bit. There we go. And I have to say, he, he looks really nice. I'm loving the posability of him. Uh, a lot better than that solid piece of plastic that we got in the 80s. Very nice detail. Uh, to take off his saddle and his... Uh, helmet it just slides right off just like that and the eyes are painted on the helmet and then for the saddle it's strapped just like the uh, old masters of the universe figures and so there we have cringer and he looks really nice um I, th I do think, though, I wish they would have maybe made him look a little bit more cowardly. Uh, maybe more scared <laughs> without his helmet and harness on. Uh, because that's how Cringer was in the uh, original TV show and in the 2000X uh, TV series. Now, for po po posability, excuse me. His tail is on a hinge as well as on a 
ball joint or peg I want to say so it can go all the way around and go up and down just like that his head is on or his neck is on a hinge and then his head is a ball joint so he can look to the side to the side he can look down that far he can look up that far um well i guess it's not on a ball joint i think it's just a hinge uh he so it, it's not it's not bad uh, he can turn his head slightly so yeah it's not bad uh, he has a jaw which can open and close and then his legs are he's got a hinge peg here so his legs can turn around spin around at the uh, knee as well as move up and down and then at the uh, joint here they can just move back and forth then the back legs are the same way only the hinge is in the opposite direction and they can move a little bit further back well maybe not Think, I'd say it's about the same. Now let's stand <clears throat> Cringer here. Move that out of the way. Next to He Man. And he's the perfect size. Uh, I have no problems with his, his size, his scaling with these vintage figures. <clears throat> go ahead and put on his saddle Let's see. put his saddle back on it just sits on there and you just run it through if we can get it over that peg <clears throat> as you can see there is a peg right there which does kind of present a problem when you're trying to get it in but then it just hooks right over the peg we'll go ahead and put his helmet on actually we need to open his mouth if we're going to do that okay and there is battle cat in all his glory We'll go ahead and use this vintage style He-Man from, what was it, two years ago, I want to say. Uh, see how he rides. And he's perfect on there. He is perfect. Uh, he fits perfectly. He looks nice. And I just so happen here to have the... Shira, I just I just so happen to have Shira here from the same vintage toy line as he man with Swift Wind from the original Princess of Power toy line, and they look really nice together. Um, Aside from the solid plastic of Swiftwind, you can't really tell they're from separate toy lines. All, all four of them. Uh, He-Man and She-Ra are the only two that are from the same toy line. Uh, Battle Cat is from the most recent toy line. Swiftwind is from the original toy line. So you can't really tell much of a difference other than the articulation in Battle Cat. So... I really like this figure. Uh, I'm going to display him. I'll probably display him just like this with, in fact, in fact, let's go ahead and display them with Skeletor 
from the same vintage toy line and Hordak also from the same vintage toy line tell me that does not look awesome uh, that's that's a really nice display look right there um, actually I don't think I'll get uh, the new He-Man or Skeletor um, I can probably find the battle axe online probably on eBay so there's really no need for me to get the new uh, style He-Man because the vintage style He-Man and I'm sure the original He-Man all ride are all you know the same on uh, Battle Cat and Cruncher, same uh, fit, same size, and everything. So there's really no need. So I'll just get the rest of the figures, leave out He-Man and Skeletor, and they'll display just as nicely. Hopefully, as long as the joints on the new figures don't make them uh, larger than. The vintage vintage line so anyway there you have it guys this has been my review of battle cat cringer from the new retro play modern posing collection of he-man and the masters of the universe i've been shannon this is kind of come again tv the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides take care geeks If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.